adventure. Good morning! Today we are heading out from around downtown Vancouver. We're going to go all the way up to Squamish. We're going to drive the Sea to Sky Highway in the Subaru, see how it feels, see how it drives. We're going to do some adventuring and then we're going to come back home. Let's go! Hello? Best part about being home is people pack Asian food for you when you go on adventure. We didn't have to do any of this, it's great. Somebody made our coffee, steamed us some buns. All we have to do is have fun. <laughs> All right, we're officially on our way to Squamish. Do you need a GPS? Oh, it's gonna be about an hour 15 to get there. Not too bad at all, considering how long it takes us to get places in Ontario. Okay, we are officially on the Sea to Sky Highway. One of our, both, I think both of our, one of our favorite drives in BC altogether. Canada, yeah. In Canada, it's gorgeous. If you've never driven the Sea to Sky, highly recommend doing it if you ever come to BC. It is just a gorgeous drive. You've got mountains, you've got water, you've got hills, you've got twisting and turning. It is just very, very nice. Um, anyway, our plan for today, we initially were supposed to be hiking the Ski Sea to Sky Trail, which is one of the hardest trails in the Squamish area, but one of the most beautiful in my opinion. I've hiked it before. I don't know if Andy has hiked it. I've done it. He's done it. But unfortunately, there's a couple of things that happened. One, we woke up late. And number two, the weather forecast is not great for today. <laughs> up at 7 30 thank you very much like <laughs> anyway the weather forecast is not great today it's 90 percent chance of rain i mean i don't know why we're surprised because we apparently just bring the rain but anyway we decided against that hike um we've chosen a couple of smaller like one kilometer loop trails that we're going to do because they still give you amazing views of the area and we will also be doing the sea to sky gondola up and back down um, so we'll still get some amazing views from that as well. Uh, that's the plan so far. We don't know what else is going to happen, but we'll see. Look at that view out Andy's window or in front of us. Look at that. I am not making this up. These are, this, these views are like straight out of like calendars or like photo books. Well, we are in Squamish. More precisely, the bottom portion of the Sea to Sky Gondola. I feel like such a cop out. <laughs> <laughs> if you were planning to do the Sea to Sky hike, this is still where you can park and the trailhead is somewhere over that way. Um, However, I would recommend parking right at the base of the Chief. It'll take you there as well. Um, yeah, it's a, like literally like a kilometer down that way. I've actually never taken this particular gondola, even though it's been up for a while. I've always done it with my own two feet. So this will be a new experience for me as well. Me too. All right, let's go get our tickets and get on the gondola. Okay. 
Okay, so the gondola isn't exactly cheap. Um, two tickets for adults for the full day came to $121, that's including tax. It's about $56 Canadian each. Uh, you do need these on your way up and your way down, so do not lose them, otherwise you're gonna have to pay for them again. Um, these give you access though to everything at the top, so that includes uh, some like really short trails, a suspension bridge with a bunch of lookouts. Uh, so yeah, that's what that's good for. If you do what we had planned to do, which is hike the Sea to Sky Trail up, it would have only cost us 15 bucks. $15 to ride the gondola back down. Sad face, but it's okay. We're gonna save that for another trip. Um, anyway, enough of me talking, let's get on the gondola. Okay, inside the gondola by ourselves because we're coming on a non-busy day. Now, I'm going to bet, and again, I've never done this before, but I'm going to bet you that this thing gets busy. Oh yeah. Um, so, if you are the hiking type, I totally recommend hiking up, but if you're also the gondola riding type, it would be kind of a shame to spend your money on this one. So, if you want to hike, and then you also want to ride the gondola, I highly recommend the Peak to Peak gondola, but it's up at Whistler. That one is fantastic as well. I don't know. I personally did the hike here, took the gondola down for 15 bucks. It was still worth it. These views are still gorgeous, so really personal preference. All right, take a look. Going so high up. Look, like, can you look at that behind me? Look how far down that goes. <laughs> These views are just stunning. So I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure right over there that is the first peak of the chief. If that is yeah. But not not like there there, but like a little bit off to the side. Because uh, I do remember looking down and seeing this uh, logging area. We were gonna do that too. We really, uh, we really underestimated how much time we have. Oh man, that was a difficult hike up. It took about 10 minutes. <sighs> just kidding, we just got off the gondola and there's the trail. So, accessibility wise, super duper accessible. Uh, right onto the gondola, definitely room for wheelchairs. And then uh, I hear that the panorama trail is pretty good too. Uh, otherwise, we can, uh, you can hang out here. Uh, all these trails here are pretty good for wheelchairs and such. All right, let's go walk this trail. It's 1.3 kilometers, takes 30 to 60 minutes, and it's got some nice lookout points. never get sick of these views.
Number one, you just gotta embrace the rain. The rain and I are now one. I can't go anywhere without the rain. It is what it is. Anyway, what I actually wanted to tell you is this trail is a pretty basic one kilometer hike. I will say there is a lot of nice lookout points. So take time to actually go check them out because they give you nice different views. And I know somewhere further up, we haven't hit it yet. There's going to be an actual viewing platform where you can see the chief. So I think we're getting close to it. We might be soaked by the time we get there, but that's okay, let's go. Alrighty, we're at the lookout thingy and we're looking at the chief right there. So you can see all three peaks and even on a more cloudy day, it is stunning. Yeah, <laughs> That's about apparently it. <laughs> I wrapped it all up. Um, so it, you, you do need to wait in line. Uh, so yeah, like crowds is a thing. So we're gonna quickly do a little pan and then get off so other people can get a chance on the viewing platform. It's a boardwalk! <laughs> Seriously though, be careful when it's wet, it might be slippery. Alright, that was the Panorama Trail and it's quite short. It's just a little loop that comes back around. Uh, there were parts of that were a little bit more uh, rooty, so um, you know, just avoid those if you can. Now, the rain really is coming down, we can't avoid it. Had to put the camera away so that, um, well, we don't ruin it, but there is more stuff to see. We are now going to go see the suspension bridge. What you just realized, we're probably not gonna be able to see anything around it. We're probably, yeah, pretty Also much. slippery when wet. <laughs> I asked Tia, hey Tia, on all these hikes or places uh, with lookouts, what have you seen? Clouds! Mostly just clouds. Fog, clouds, precipitation. A little outline in the distance of the mountain range. Ooh, but mysterious. I know, right? <laughs> Cue mysterious music. Yeah, but no, mostly, mostly fog. It's yeah. mostly been fog. However, it is still a good time. Um, now, it, this is higher up, so definitely bring a rain jacket and look at the weather because it could change on a dime. All right, I have been wanting to go on a suspension bridge since we came into BC and everyone that lives here keeps telling me that the ones I'm looking at are no good because they're not very long. But I still think it's really cool <laughs> because it's a suspension bridge in the mountains. <laughs> so I am very much enjoying walking back and forth on this one. And even though it's very cloudy and foggy, look at this view. Look at this, this is so cool. Trees for days, clouds for days, suspension bridge, in the fog, it's raining. I don't know, I'm having a great time. <laughs> All right, well, while Tia's being a bud, I'm gonna go explore a little bit because she wants to go walk back, walk back and forth on the suspension bridge and leave me to do all the vlogging. I think there's a lookout over here, so 
We're gonna go check that out. All right, that's pretty much it here at the top of the sea to sky for today just because it's raining and you can't really see anything we went and did a few rounds back and forth or at least i did on the suspension bridge and um just for reference there is a restaurant here you can get food burgers beer fries bowls things like that there's also a concession stand if you want to pay eight dollars for a hot dog or some candy um <laughs> we personally are going to go into the town of squamish because there's actually a lot of really cool restaurants in there that are not like chains or anything yeah if so. you didn't see us going up to whistler check it out there but we did go to a place called sunny cheapas i want to go back there fried chicken like and burritos oh burritos Ooh, mm, yeah very very good it's like a weird like yeah it's like a weird fusion food so really good uh, for that one uh, there's also McDonald's and stuff like that in town so yeah highly suggest taking the gondola all the way back down after having at least one beer though and just so you know your all-day ticket is only good for one round trip on the gondola you cannot come up go down come up go down it's just one round trip yep so that's a, a tip yeah however if you do want to come up a second time and you don't want to pay there's always the option of walking up here it takes a little bit more time <laughs> but that is an option and completely free pro tip <laughs>